And no, I did not have to screw any manager in the back room to get this special pricing. Hey chopsticks, on the menu today is tenbenyaki, more specifically, sukiyaki beef and chicken yakisoba. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome, my name is Merrick, nice to meet you. I film mukbangs and ASMR, so if you are interested in these types of videos, make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have my delicious food right in front of me. This is the sukiyaki beef and this is the chicken yakisoba. Yakisoba are the noodles and the beef is just on top of some brown rice. I am so, so, so hungry. Let's eat. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna start off using a fork, I think. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice. Open wide. Got it, got it, slay. Mmm, mmm, oh my god, so delicious. Mmm, mmm, the nice crispiness of the beef fresh off the grill. Mmm, there's also some mushrooms in here, along with the beef. We got broccoli, carrots, and some cabbage too. And it's just sprinkled with some sesame seeds. Mm. Now, I'm gonna do the chicken yakisoba with some chopsticks. Ooh yeah, look at these udon noodles. You don noodles, you don noodles. Tomato, tomato. Okay, let me give you guys a bite first. Oh, I don't think I can, they're too long. Here, let me try. Open wide, got it, got it, slay. Mmm. Mmm. So bombs. Slurping the Yudon noodles with the tempeh yaki sauce is like heaven, you guys. Mmm. I already know which one I like more. I like the yaki soba more. The noodles are just so like slippery, like glides right into your mouth. Just like how something glides right into my. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Because I have to keep in mind that I have seven year olds watching me and I do not want to be a bad influence. I want to be an influencer. I want to be, I want to be a social media influencer, but not a bad one. Mm. Mm. That one was such a stubborn one. Mm. So, in today's mukbang, I'm going to be talking about this food and Japanese tempeyaki in general. But, 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 I am doing some shout outs! Yay! Jazan! Shout outs! Shout outs! Shout outs! So excited to do some shout outs. In one of my past videos, I told people to comment, I like turtles, to receive a shout out from me on camera. I like turtles. I like turtles. Comment those three words in the comment section down below and you'll be entered to win a shout out for me in a future mukbang. And this is the video where I'll be announcing the shout out winners. But before we get to that, let me just talk about the tempeyaki really quickly. So I bought this tempeyaki from a local chain here in my city. If you're from Edmonton, I got it from Edo, Japan. Um, basically, it's like a tempeyaki chain found in a lot of food courts around my city. Mm. There's the option to get white rice or brown rice. And I'm like, I'm going to get brown rice because there's no extra charge and brown rice is healthier, I think. Or, well, maybe not, but at least it's like usually 
more expensive. Mmm. I wonder if like brown rice is like a fad. Like you know how like green juices are like really in these days? I wonder centuries ago did people eat brown rice? Like I sure some cultures and societies ate brown rice but how many actually ate brown rice? Cause like I'm Chinese and I'm pretty sure the Chinese didn't eat brown rice thousands of years ago. Heck, even today, I don't think they eat brown rice. When I go to like authentic Chinese restaurants, they never serve you brown rice. It's always like white rice. But yeah, I got this from um, a chain called Ido Japan that specializes in tempeyaki grill. Mm. Mm, over here, I have some hot sauce. Let me just put it on the side right here. And maybe on the side here as well. Mm, that looks good. Give it a little kick to my meal. Mmm. So let's talk about pricing. I'm going to talk about normal pricing because because I got this as a special. Normal pricing, each one of these would be around seven U United States dollars, seven USD. So like 14 USD roughly for this entire meal. If you're Canadian watching, they're basically $9 each. Usually when I do these price conversions on the spot in my videos, I just take like 20 or 25% off the Canadian price and that's how I convert it to US. If anyone is wondering. But I got a special pricing for these and no, I did not have to screw any manager in the back room to get this special pricing. But I totally would be open to that offer. Like if a manager asked me, like, yeah, boy, it's cheap, okay? So. <laughs> mm. Mm. If you're wondering what's in the chicken yakisoba, it's used on noodles, cabbage, broccoli, carrots, mushroom, chicken. Mm -mm -mm. So, I got these both. 50% off. Yes, 50% off. No, I do not know someone who works at Edo Japan. I don't have a friend who is a tempeyaki chef or anything. This was an offer open to everyone actually because all you had to do was trade your first Born. Sorry, I was going to make a really funny joke, but my phrasing of that word came off not as fluent as I expected to. I was gonna be like, all you had to do is give up your firstborn. Cause like, you know, that's like a joke in a lot of TV shows and movies. I hate it when that happens. When you have like a joke, but you say it either incorrectly or you forget the joke. Like you forget the details in the joke so people don't understand what you're talking about. Mmm.
the reason why I got 50% off this meal is because they were having their grand opening. Yes, so happy. I actually found their promotion on Facebook as an ad. See, this is why you invest in advertise, or this is why you invest your advertising dollars into social media campaigns and not newspaper papers. Because, like, I'm pretty sure people in my generation or younger, they won't be reading the newspaper to like see these special promotions. They will be on Facebook and they'll see your advertisement there. And the thing with Facebook is that this is not a sponsor for like Edo Japan or Facebook, by the way. It sounds like it, but it's really not. Trust me. When I land a sponsorship deal, I'll let you guys know. That's when you know you've made it. When I work with Canon, Nikon, Google. You guys, look at this new Canon camera that they sent me. I'll be disclosing that. They're sponsoring this video one day. Mm. Oh yeah. But with Facebook, you can target specific regions. Because like Edo Japan, by the way, if you're curious, again, not being sponsored, this is how, oops, sorry, did I touch the mic? You guys might have heard a sound. I'm so sorry for that weird sound. This is how the napkin looks like. This is their corporate logo. Doesn't this sound so sponsored right now? It totally sounds so sponsored. Trust me, not being sponsored. No sponsorship deal here. But there's a lot of Edo Japans throughout my city. And their grand opening was only for one new location. So um, it's really smart from like the company's part because I'm sure they made a Facebook campaign and instead of targeting everybody in Canada, everybody in my city, they only targeted people who lived by this new location. Because obviously you don't want to target someone who lives across the city, right? Because they wouldn't come to your new location even if it's like 50% off. Well, like some people might, but like the chances are very, very slim. Hmm. So through Facebook, you're able to really, really target your clientele. I feel like right now I'm at a TED talk or some social media conference and I'm explaining how to use Facebook ads, even though I've never actually ran a Facebook campaign myself. I just read a lot of social media, social um, influencing, influential marketing videos on YouTube and articles. So that's why I know all of this. Because like if you were to put your ad in a newspaper, your the newspaper doesn't reach a specific neighborhood. It goes out to everybody who lives in the city basically. But with Facebook, they only targeted my neighborhood and since I live near this Edo, the chances of me going there are much higher. Hmm. The rice is definitely a lot more filling than the noodles. I feel like I got so much rice compared to the noodles. Like, I'm relatively eating this at the exact same pace. I feel like I'm like 20% done the rice and I'm like almost done the noodles. What is this, Edo? See, if this was a sponsored video, I wouldn't be like so... so analytical of their portioning by... I am, so this is not sponsored. Mm. I'm not sure if I upload that video yet, but I am in the talks with a local company to do not a sponsorship, but a review of their food. And I am so excited to film that video because I love their products. Mm.
But anyhow, going back to what I was initially talking about, the 50% off deal was because they're having their grand opening and they're closing at 9 p.m. today. By the way, it's one day only. They're closing at 9 p.m. And usually when I buy food, I like to, I know like people who work in the fast food industry or like the restaurant industry or the retail industry hate people like me. They probably want to slit my throat. But what I do is I like to go in last minute, like 10 minutes before it closes and like order. I know I'm terrible, right? I walk into H&M five minutes before it closes and I'm like, can I get a fitting room for this shirt? I am terrible. I know I'm so sorry. I'm one of those humans that need to be voted voted off the island. Mm. But usually, if it wasn't the grand opening, I would have gone to Edo at like 8.50 because it closes at 9. But in my mind, I'm like, oh my god, I bet there's going to be a lot of people there. Big lineup because it's 50% off one day only. What happens if they run out of chicken, run out of beef, run out of rice? So I made myself go extra early this time. I went there at like 8.15, right after my workout. Like right now, I'm still wearing my workout shirt. I wanted to like talk about this in a video, but this is my workout shirt. It actually says VidCon right here. Will I focus? Maybe. It says VidCon. I got this at VidCon. The 7th. See, this is the 7th. The seventh annual VidCon that I went to. But I usually wear the shirt to do abs. So that's why my arm game. Wait, can I flex? Oh, Shane was flexing. My arms game is like a little bit weak today. But if I can lift up my shirt on camera, maybe you guys can check out my abs. What am I even doing right now? Oh my god, Merrick, this is a mukbang, not some not one of those videos, okay? Hmm. So right after I work out, it's like 8 o'clock, I drive there, it's like 8.15, and while I'm driving there, I see through their glass window that there were only like two people sitting there, eating there, and there was like no one lining up. I'm like, what? What is going on? I was like, did they sell out of the chicken and the beef that quickly? I was like freaking out in my mind. I'm like, oh god, I bet those last two people probably got the last scoop of chicken the last scoop of rice. I park my car and I go in. By the way, by the way, I'll insert some pictures of their grand opening sign and how the restaurant looks like. There's not This looks so sponsored right now. This, I bet you guys think I'm lying that this isn't a sponsored video. I swear on my, my grave that this is not a sponsored video. <laughs> I'm trying to include more pictures of like where, my, where I get my food or like the preparation process into my videos to give it some flair. Just to like change things up. Change things up. Cause like I feel like some people are interested. So I walk in and obviously they weren't sold out because like I got the food. It was just a freaking slow day. <laughs> I was like, that's a pretty bad day to have a slow day on your grand opening. There's no line at all. I just walked up to a counter. I ordered. They cooked my meal right away. Mm. I should have filmed the tempanyaki chefs making my food on the big grill, like the Japanese ones. Mm. But yeah, that's uh, my adventure at Edo Japan. And this fast food chain, it's been around my city forever. Like, I literally grew up eating this. Some people, 
like after school, them and their friends, they might go grab McDonald's, some fries, some pizza from 7-Eleven. No, me and my friends, we're real Asian, so we always get Edo Japan. Even in the food court, a lot of people get like Subway or something. We always opt for Edo Japan because <laughs> we're really Asian like that. Mmm. <sighs> Oh god, it's so good. So, that actually leads me to the question of the day. The question of the day is, have you ever had tempiyaki before? If so, how was your experience? If not, do you want to try it? And by tempiyaki, I mean like a legit tempiyaki show where there's like a chef doing tricks and stuff. Have you ever tried it? If you did, did you like it? If not, do you want to try it? Let me know in the comments down below because I would love to read all your responses. Personally, I have been to like a legit tempanyaki show where there's like a chef and you're like in a semicircle around that chef. And I thought it was a pretty cool experience. Um, I didn't think it was like mind blowing at all. So that's why I don't go too often. And by too often, I mean I've been twice in my entire life. And the last time I went was when I was six. So probably like every two decades. But if like a friend had a birthday party there or something, I totally would go. I have nothing against it. It's just like, I never think of going to a tempanyaki place specifically. I'm also, like, I would get really anxious if they try to do a trick on me. Cause, Cause sometimes they like ask for volunteers in their semicircle. And it's like, let me toss a mushroom into your mouth. I feel like I would be so nervous that even if it was like going to land in my mouth, even if it's like projectile was correct, I would be like, ah, like that. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't want to be in the center of attention, I guess. But, like, if I'm with my friends, I guess that's okay. But sometimes you're, like, lumped with strangers. I mean, actually, while in university, I was taking this business class. And we had this business case where... The company was called Betty Hanna. If you live in the US, you might have heard of Betty Hanna. Is it called Betty Hanna? Yeah, I have like notes on this on the side. It's called Betty Hanna and they specialize in tempanyaki live grilling. It's all over the, at the US, some international locations as well. And our assignment was to determine, it's kind of hard to explain. Let me try to explain it. So, Obviously, from the company's point of view, if you and your friend go to live tempanyaki, they don't want to have you at a grill because if the grill seats 12 people and it's just you and your friend and there's like one chef, then the company is like losing money. So they want to have all 12 seats filled up. So our job as, sorry, I'm like burping. There we go. As consultants to this company is determined um, a way to maximize their profitability by seating more people at the table without people getting upset waiting. Because if I was, if the host was like, oh, can you wait one hour until we get 12 people so we can seat you at the grill? Like, no one wants to wait an hour. So people are going to get upset and not come back. But the good thing is, if people wait, generally people wait in bars and they buy drinks and that's very profitable. So, like, our task was to, like, do calculations to balance out these two things. Sounds really boring to some people, I know. 
trust me, it kind of is. But at the same time, you can see there's a real impact. Like, what you're doing has a real impact on a restaurant's future. Chicken yakisoba, so good. Mm. Let's move on to the shout outs. So, hold on, let me just find my notes real quick. Before I do my shout outs, I just want to um, kind of talk to you guys about this sh these shout out contests because some people well not some people a lot of people have been asking me uh please give me a shout out how do I get a shout out from you I host I host these shout out contests and my videos every once in a while so make sure to watch all my videos and for the entire length because these shout out contests if you want a shout out it's like randomly scattered throughout videos and I kind of want to reward people who are really big supporters of mine you know what I mean it's like I really like do appreciate you like watching my videos but if you only like watch the first three minutes of like a 30 minute video like that kind of makes me sad but like some people who watch like the for the full 30 minutes I might be like at the 20 minute mark this is a shout out contest so I really want to reward people who actually watch my entire video and that's not to say that I don't appreciate people who only watch three minutes. I totally understand if that's all the time you have. Um, but the thing is, with YouTube, how, like, I'm not sure if anyone's interested in the algorithm here. But basically, the number one thing that helps my channel grow for me to make more videos in the future is called watch time. So basically, the greater watch time you have in a video, the more likely your channel will be featured, aka will be successful. So that's why I push watch time so much on my channel. And this is me being open with you guys. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm only doing these shadow contests in some videos for the, some unknown reason. The reason why I do shadow contests randomly is because I want to encourage people to watch my videos fully. Because I really do want to grow this channel. So I can do this uh, full time one day. And again, um, sorry, let me just explain what watch time is. Watch time is basically how minutes someone watches. So if you watch like a 20 minute video and you watch the video for the entire length, that's, tw that's 20 minutes of watch time. But if you only watch the first five minutes of the 20 minutes, 20 minute video, that's five minutes of watch time. So I really want to get as much watch time as possible. I know you guys do support me a lot and I honestly could not run this channel without you guys. So I'm so appreciative of that. And honestly, I totally understand if you're busy, like say you only have a 10 minute break to watch YouTube and you're like, oh Merrick, I can only watch 10 minute 10 minutes of your 40 minute long video because that's all I have. No problem. So, so, so appreciative of that. I do have two optional suggestions, of course. First of all, if you have another chance to come back to my channel, finish the other 30 minutes, that's always an option. And second recommendation that also helps me a lot. If you guys honestly can't watch my entire video, please, please, please just let the video run. Just like play the video, don't pause it, let it run. You can mute your computer, mute your tablet, and minimize it, but turn on captions. So let me repeat, if you can't watch my videos, but you still want to support my channel, let the video run, 
mute the computer if you don't want to hear me talking <laughs> and minimize the window. There we go. Minimize, mute, and let the video run with captions. Because that still counts as watch time too. And I feel like I always say this, I really do want to be as honest and transparent as possible. And I think I'll be mentioning this, mentioning this again in a future video probably. Because not everyone watches all my videos. Which I totally understand. Even with my favorite YouTubers, I don't have time to like watch all of their videos. But I still love to support them, so I click on all their videos and I just let it run. So they get the watch time. Mm, this is so good. Alrighty, so let's move out to the winners of the shadow contest. I'm going to insert the names on the screen right now. So the two winners of my last shout out contest are Akko Joanna 88 and Isabel Mendez. Thank you guys so much. I love that both of you guys like turtles. I hope you guys actually do like turtles because in my last shout out contest, I told people to comment I like turtles and they did. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I always think, I honestly think turtles are awesome creatures. Like, they live for such a long time. They'll probably outlive me. So yeah, Akko Joanna 88 and Isabel Mendez, thank you guys so much for all your support. And I do hope you guys continue to watch my videos. And, sorry, I was going to say something. Wow. <laughs> this is why I am bad at public speaking. Can you imagine if I was going to make a speech on stage and I just froze up like that? Mm, I know what I was going to say, and I hope you guys continue this journey along with me as we discover life's greatest pleasure, food! Alrighty, so looks like I am done my sukiyaki beef as well. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. If you are subscribed, make sure you turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Love you chopsticks and remember to slay your day.